In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to back up your MySQL databases using cron jobs. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is you want to be logged into your cPanel. As you can see, I'm already logged into mine here. And I'm going to show you two methods to, to back up your MySQL databases. The first method is to include your MySQL login information in the cron job command itself. Now, to get to the cron jobs, we're, we're going to want to scroll down in our cPanel here, pretty much towards the bottom here, until we find the advanced section. And there you can see the uh, icon or the link for cron jobs. We'll go ahead and click that. And then you want to see uh, the first time you do this, if you want to enter an email address here, then as you can see up here, you'll have uh, the cron job will send an email every time it runs a command, which produces output. And then I'll show you um, this bit here in a, in a minute where you can uh, append this text here onto the end of your command to kind of suppress that uh, output if you don't want it for a particular job. So make sure you, uh, if you want that email, you get that email address entered here and click the update email button. Uh, I'm going to go down and show you how to set up the cron job. The easiest way is just to pick one of these common settings here. You click here. I'm going to do something like uh, once per day that would back up and run this job once every 24 hours. And you can tweak exactly what time or uh, whatnot you want that to run. But I'm going to go down here and issue the command. I'm going to leave all that other stuff as the default. And down here, I'm going to enter the command forward slash user USR forward slash bin forward slash and then the command my sql dump and then space dash u and then i'm gonna just type db username here but this is the username for your database so you wouldn't type db username you would type the username for your database and we're going to put dash p for the password and then i'm going to put this in uh, single quotes and that makes sure uh, we don't have any problems with special characters in your password so here you would put you wouldn't put DB password that's what I'm gonna put in single quotes but you would put your actual password to your database there and then a space and then the actual name of your database so I put DB username DB password and DB name you would change those to your database username your database password and your database name respectively and then we're going to go ahead and output that to, uh, you can choose whatever path you want here. Again, I'm just going to put path, but that would be a folder or a series of folders uh, wherever you want your uh, backup file to go. And then you give the backup file a name. We'll just keep it simple and call it like backup.sql. So there's our command right there. And when you have your command all set, you go ahead and you say add new cron job. And if you can scroll down here a bit, you will see your current cron jobs. And you can see here that it's set to run uh, and then the command it's set to do. Uh, if you needed to make a change, you could hit edit here and go back and edit that cron job. If you made a complete mistake, big mistake, and just want to start over or you no longer wanted that job to run, you could go here and hit delete. Okay, that was method number one. Method number two is to use a configuration file to store the MySQL login information so that you don't have to put it actually in your cron job. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to go back to our control panel, and I'm going to go into the file manager here, and we're going to have to create a file first, and then we'll come back and create the cron job. So we'll start with the file manager here, and then we are going to go ahead and up here, we're going to add a new file, and we're going to call the file, and this is important, uh, dot my dot cnf and I'm just gonna go ahead and create this uh, right here in the home directory and I'll say create new file and then we can go down and find that file and I'm going to click on it and hit edit And that opens up my editor window here and we're going to type exactly like I have here and in the square brackets we're going to put client and then we're going to say user equals and again I'm going to put DB username you would put the name of uh, or the username for your database instead of DB username 
And then a new line, I'm gonna put password equals, I'm gonna put double quotes there, DB password. Again, that would be the password to your database. And then for host, we can uh, just put localhost because our database is running on the same server as this file here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes. Now again, one more time, you would put your username for your database and your password for your database there instead of db username or db password. And then go ahead and hit save changes. And now that we have that file created, I'll go ahead and close that out. And I'm just gonna close out the file manager here. And then we're gonna go down back to cron jobs. We'll click that. And this time we'll just say add a, another daily uh, once per, per day. And the command this time it's a little simpler because we put the information in that file. So now we can just issue the command mysql dump. And then we take the name of the database. Again, I'm gonna put db name here. That would be the name of your mysql database. And then we are going to do the same thing as before. We're gonna output that to, again, path could be the name of whatever folder you wanna store this in, or series of folders, whatever your folder structure is there. And then I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna call it backup.sql. Now, if you wanted to up here and you didn't want that email, you could, and I'm just gonna copy and paste it here, but you could highlight that up there and append that to the end of your cron job and then you won't get the email It'll kind of suppress the email output there uh, so just something to, to note if you don't want that email information i'm going to go ahead and delete that because i do want it and then i'm going to say add new cron job and now i've got both cron jobs now i wouldn't need both of these they both are going to kind of do the same thing there's just two different methods to do it so you wouldn't want both of these this was just for demonstration example uh, on how to set up uh, using the the two different methods there so let's go ahead and uh, let's just keep the new one. And just to show you, I'll go ahead and delete the, the first one I set up there. And now I just have the one remaining using the information from the .my.cnf file. And there you have it. That is how to back up your MySQL databases using cron jobs. For more tutorials, visit a2hosting.com forward slash KB.